Yo, what's going on guys? I'm back with another video and today I am on Kodai where I'll be doing a server showcase. Now before we get into the server showcase, I just want to announce a giveaway real quick. Now the first commenter will be winning a God Wars chest tier 3 together with the key so you can open this for some nice loot. I'll be opening a few in just a moment so you guys know what you can get from these. Uh, and then a random winner will be picked to win a Zenite casket tier 3, a God Wars chest tier 3 and a Dragon chest tier 3 all together with the tier 3 uh, keys so you can and open those three all you have to do to enter is make sure you are subscribed comment your in-game name down below also make sure notifications are on because sometimes i do pick the first commenter to win and make sure you like the video as well Anyways, let's go ahead and start with the video. Now, starting off, when you first join the game and you have a look at this home area, it looks absolutely beautiful. Now, it's a custom home area for the people who haven't noticed it yet, and it's very nicely done. As you can see, you have the bank right here together with the Ornate Reju uh, Rejuvenation Pool, where you can actually um, restore your stats once you have uh, teleported home. You also have the Teleport Wizard right here, where you can teleport to um, your training location, skilling dungeon city, some bosses, mini games wilderness or guilds um, then if you run a bit to the east you have yourself a grand exchange clerk where you can buy or sell items so um, yeah that's pretty nice as well I suppose um, then you have a few stores right here where you can buy yourself some items to craft or uh, some armor or weaponry uh, and if you go around the home area right here, you have some Slayer um, NPCs where you can actually get yourself a Slayer task. Also with the Dead Elvark right here showing that you can be a Master of Slayer, which is very nice. Um, if you run here, you have this cool bridge as well, but I'm not going over that right now. That's the beginning area basically where you can start training like on cows and chickens and stuff. Um, here you can buy yourself some uh, magic armors and weapons, some runes as well. And then right here you have the Altar of the Occult where you can basically uh, change your uh, magic spell book um, and then grace of course where you can trade yourself some marks of grace I suppose for um, some items uh, like the um, graceful armor and stuff then of course next to the bank you have a bunch of other things you have the cowardly bandit which if you talk to him um, you can open the uh, arena shop which I'll go over in a second what the arena is but as you can see you can get yourself some Vesta statues, Zerials and more um, yeah, Morrigans. You can also get yourself some herd box, dragon bones, mithril bars, and raw dark crabs, which is good for scaling, of course. And then right here you have a closed chest in the bank as well that you can open with a crystal key, I suppose. So that's pretty nice as well. Also right here you have these two, which is the donator store and the vote store. These are sitting here basically. Um, so yeah, that's pretty nice. Now moving on, as well as um, a bunch of shops, you also have like this custom skilling area right next to the bank, which is absolutely beautiful. You have Nurmov right here, where you can buy yourself some pickaxes to start up mining here. Then you can go ahead, melt your bars, take a hammer, smith your, um, smith your bars into armor, train up like that. You also have a fishing spot here that you can do uh, willows for wood cutting. You have Co Captain Lol Logov, if I pronounce that correctly. You also have Trapdoor, which will lead you down to the Edgeville dungeon, as you can see right there. Um, but yeah, that's a pretty nice killing area. Here you also have a few U's to train up, Bob and an axe that you can get to start out. You also have Tinnen right here, which um, I suppose can uh, sell you some fishing stuff. So yeah, that's pretty nice as well. Um, over this area I'll go in a second because there is something special right here. And then right here you can train your, up your thieving. You have a few thieving stalls, like the beginning thieving stalls and the more experienced ones. So that's nice. Here's some hunter shops and all that good stuff. Um, here you can trade in your emblems for some um, bounty hunter token, uh, points and stuff. So yeah, this home area looks absolutely amazing if you ask me. There is so much work being done into this home area. It's it's actually quite insane to see that all. Anyways, if you go back to this house right here, as you can see you have Paul and you also have Levy. Now these are two um, Iron Man accounts that you can actually talk to and these can set your account to Iron Man but besides the regular Iron Man mode that everyone knows you also have duo Iron Man which is basically that you can trade one person and one person only so um, yeah you will be working together with a friend which is very nice because that um, makes so you get closer with friends you have to team up and stuff but it makes Iron Man a little bit easier but it's still quite hard because you still have to share your resources and stuff but if that isn't enough you can talk to Levy right here and you can actually make an Iron Man group which is even more 
uh, which is even more community related because you will have to join a whole group You can be with like five or six Iron Man's in one group go PVMing and then sharing the loots together with your with your friends But you can't trade them outside of your friends. So um, yeah, that's pretty nice as well And then you have uh, the shopkeepers right here that you can buy and sell some stuff from all right now for the arena This is actually a custom minigame. So if you go to your quest um, Panel right here and you click on the arena this interface will open you can actually create a 1v1 now of course this is a uh, kind of bug because I am in resizable mode but let's choose a uh, noobs YouTube for a team name and um, as you can see right here we have a 1v1 team so I will have a look if someone is joining and then once that is done we can actually go ahead and fight that person so I'll do that in a second once anyone joins all right so I, I actually didn't notice but if you're in a 1v1 team you just have to uh, press play and then you just join a queue now um, once the queue well there will be a timer and once the timer has run out you will actually go ahead and fight your opponent that uh, you will see in the queue so hopefully I will fight it, be fighting in just a second alright so as you can see arena a match has been found so in six seconds I will be teleported to the arena where I will be fighting um, so I accepted this now I am in the arena right here so um, I suppose if I climb oh loadout one Oh, you actually, oh, it's okay, so this is my custom loadout, which can actually take some um, loadouts from here as well, I didn't know that, but yeah, of course, I am in max gear, because I do want to wreck it, so climb over the ring, and uh, let's have a look here, so the fight has now officially started, um, let me turn up some prayers, I haven't PK'd in a while, so I'm rusty, so um, yeah, good luck to you, man, Vanjab, what, he hit a 70? Alright, so let's do that one more time. Let's play. Let's hopefully find the queue and uh, I'm going to try to rematch North So um, yeah, hopefully we can uh, manage to do a rematch this time I did manage to fix my F key so I will be a bit better at PKing and hopefully I can actually manage to kill him this time and not get sit down for a 70 which was absolutely insane But um, yeah, good game to North for the first fight though. Alright, so here we go again we have uh, checked loaded one once again 10 seconds and the battle will start okay let's venge up let's put on my prayers already let's uh, pot up as well let's eat an angler fish get some higher hp and um, now we are ready so um, yeah good luck to you hopefully we do not get set this time for uh, a 70 and uh, we can actually manage to spec him out but um, yeah, therefore we first need a big hit, well a few big hits, last time I only had one hit so um, that was quite weak of my whip But um, yeah, hopefully this time we can do better, ooh that's a 49 man, oh okay that's a zero, that's good At least I managed to survive this AGS spec, uh, that would have been a GG Okay here we go, claws, zero man, oh god damn, but um, yeah I guess uh, Okay, eat up there. Oh, he hit a zero. Okay, my, my bet on the save, but uh, yeah, he was using his spec. A big hit, and then I can go in for the claws with the Venge. Okay, here we go. Oh, he hit a zero. Zero claws as well. God damn it. I should have gone for the AGS, man. Oh no, if he has a spec, I'm dead. Oh, I actually managed to survive. Okay, let's go for a huge cla claws zero again. What's this crap, man? Like, if he hits big on my Venge, he's dead. Oh, come on. Whip hit the 12, come on, one more hit and he's dead and we have won this. There we go, good fight my man. So yeah, that arena minigame is actually amazing, uh, if you guys didn't notice yet, but you can also do 2v2 and 3v3, so you can basically team up with a few mates, which is pretty interesting to be honest, because uh, yeah, you can have a lot of fun like that, tribe ridding, trying to win versus teams. Of course you do get your points, spend them right there in the um, shop uh, for the, with the bandit. But um, yeah, anyways, let's go ahead and continue with the stuff that I want to show in this video. So um, right now I'm just going to open up five of each of these caskets real quick. Um, let me just, okay, I'm going to take five keys each. Um, so yeah, starting with these Zenite caskets, as you can see, you can check what's inside the box when you try to open them, but you can get an uncut onyx, the imbued rings, fury, amulet of eternal glory, but you can also get the Zenite jewelry or an uncut Zenite, so yeah, that's pretty nice. Let's have a look here. If we open five of these boxes, I'll just open them real quick because as you can see, there is quite a long animation and then it will be a randomly picked reward. So yeah, I'll just be opening these and coming back with the loot once I've opened five of each. Okay, so here we go, we are opening the last box, but as you can see, we got pretty lucky. Now, for the first boxes, the Zenite boxes, we got uh, kind of standard rewards, as you can see right there. We got uh, two Searchonics imbued, Berserker Ring imbued, the Uncut Onyx, and Amulet of Eternal Glory. 
Then from the Godwards boxes, we got a Bandit's Rune armor set, we got an Armadil, uh, Ceredomian armor set, a Armadil Dragonhide set, but we did manage to get an Armadil Crossbow and a Godsword Blade. Now, if I remember collect correctly, the Godsword uh, Blade is actually a rare reward, so let's have a look real quick and see what's inside. And um, yeah, right here, the Godsword Blade is actually a rare reward as well as the Armadil Crossbow, so that's pretty nice. Anyways, then from the dragon chest, we did get it, manage to get a dragon plate body, a dragon full helm, two uh, magic fangs, and a primordial crystal, which is super nice. So yeah, we got pretty lucky there. Anyways, that's going to be it for this video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe. Also, make sure to turn on the notifications because I do pick the first commenter to win sometimes. And um, also make sure to enter the other giveaway. But anyways, if you guys did enjoy, make sure to smash the like button and subscribe if you didn't already. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.